going everybody? Pete Leong here with a uh, review today of uh, this Manfrotto MVM uh, 500A monopod, fluid head monopod for you. But first of all, let me apologize for not putting out very many videos lately. It's because of the uh, busy wedding season down here in Okinawa, uh, where they have weddings every single day as opposed to just on weekends. So flat out with that, plus editing at night time, not much time for videos. But anyway, I wanted to show you this little cool toy I picked up while I was doing a wedding up in the mainland a week or so ago. And it's uh, mainly designed for video shooting, but great for shooting stills with bigger lenses as well. Uh, it's not like your regular monopod as you can see. It has these fold out feet at the bottom here. <coughs> they just uh, have a little clip and they can fold up like so. It's got a fluid cartridge in the bottom, a nice one up in the top here, which gives you all your smooth panning and tilting uh, video control, like so. Just like that. You can adjust the tension here with a little dial on the left there. And uh, as you can see, it has uh, a nice smooth action there for uh, panning and tilting. Uh, Manfrotto redesigned their quick release mount on top of this head, uh, whereas before you had to slide in the plate from the front or back. Now, it, it's a bigger head as well, and it just pops in from the top now, uh, just like so. Um, you need to tighten it up with a couple of twists of this little dial here, but even if you forget it, it has a couple of pins at the front and back to prevent your camera from sliding off the uh, head. So you just give that a little twist around and now it's not going anywhere and it's not going to slide. So what's cool about this is uh, it will balance itself when you find its little center point of gravity. Um, it's got a little uh, spirit level in here and when you find it you can take your hands off and it's not going anywhere. But you can also do uh, very cool like a uh, slider type effects front to back kind of like this. You can keep your feet on the base here for more stability which you can't see right now but uh, it really opens up some uh, creative possibilities for places where you can't go with a tripod and when you're in a hurry for things like weddings uh, it's really great because you can just pick it up move with it drop it down and quickly set up your shot uh, you can get it up nice and high up to about two meters high so you can look down and get some really cool different angles you probably can't see that way up there but uh, it can go even a little bit higher still so these run about uh, $330 over here I believe in Japan or uh, 33,000 yen I think it's about the same in the States but uh, for anybody interested in doing DSLR video or any video for that matter uh, this should be really one of the first purchases you make and I think it's going to give you your best bang for buck as a film person uh, even for still photography I find it super handy I was able to get uh, shots in the range of 40th of a second with a 300 mil millimeter lens uh, on this Canon 1D Mark IV which has a 1.3 crop sensor and I was still able to get sharp panning shots of uh, surfers this morning just out over there in the background um, I would dig this uh, handle here into my armpit and follow the surfers nice and smoothly like so. But I do find it super easy to get nice smooth shots even with those longer lenses and I'm no video professional or anything like that. Uh, I just do this kind of thing for fun. I just picked it up uh, as I thought I might use it for some of my YouTube uh, tutorials and reviews and things like that. So I highly recommend it. The only gripes I have with this thing are that um, these leg clips would be better off on the other side I think so that uh, when your right hand is busy holding the camera or this arm here you're able to quickly uh, release the legs from the left side instead of having to reach around to the right side it's no big deal but uh, that would be a nice feature um, and the ball head in the bottom does tend to pop just a little bit if you're moving it slowly uh, I've heard some other people talk about this issue as well. I don't find it much of a problem, but just every now and again you'll hear a little, little pop where it's not quite as smooth as it should be. But no big deal. Um, it does have a, I think a three quarter inch screw mount on the side here, so you can mount uh, external monitors, microphones and things like that as well. Um, but uh, I'm not up to that level or anything like that yet. 
But uh, yeah, it's just a really quick, neat way to uh, get some creative, smooth video angles uh, when you're out on the job. It's very solid, uh, very great construction. It's built very solidly and uh, highly recommended. So if you have any questions or comments about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like my videos, as always, please click that subscribe button. Until next time, Pete Leong signing off.